The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good evening, everyone. Right this minute, we're staying pretty dry, and there really hasn't been a lot of movement and rainfall recently. There's been some snow in the Great Lakes, but that's about it. If you're headed anywhere towards the west for any of your travel this holiday season, looking pretty comfortable. And as we get towards Christmas time, it takes a system to develop in Texas. That might cause some interruptions, but today at least, there's a little bit of rain in New Mexico and some on the very western coast in California. So if you're doing flying over the next couple of days, you've got some good conditions. Love to see some pictures of the nice weather that we've have over the next couple of days. This one is from George. Really cool to see the Christmas display out there. Go to WSLS.com slash pins. It's the easiest way to get that uploaded to us. Now through the evening, our temperatures are going to come down rather steadily. We spent a lot of the night in the 30s. That's still actually a little bit above average for what we have for lows this time of year. I think we'll end up getting down towards 29 for a very short amount of time and then bouncing back pretty quickly. And with those winds that we do have, it'll be enough to get some wind chill going because of our cooler temperatures. Generally, these are coming from the northwest at around four or five miles per hour. Nothing crazy there, just enough to make it a degree or two cooler than what the actual temperature is as you're waking up early tomorrow morning. A lot of the evening wind chill is not too much of a factor. It's really a tomorrow morning situation, but Lots of sunshine will help us warm up pretty nicely for Thursday. That pushes us back into the 50s in most spots. Lynchburg tries to get up towards 60. I don't think it'll actually make it there, but a lot of our highs are not going to be too far off from that mark. And after Friday, which brings a slight dip in our temperatures, even a couple 40s in the NRV and Highlands, I think we bounce back up into the upper 50s and low 60s So we keep on going through the week ahead. Dry for Thursday and Friday, a couple shower chances on Saturday, and even those look pretty light. It's mostly a dry day there. Christmas Eve stays dry for Christmas Day itself. Right now I'm thinking that we've got a pretty dry day with some showers coming in pretty late ahead of a rain system that's mainly coming on Tuesday. Now it is a few days out, so it'll probably move around timing wise a little bit. We're keeping a pretty close eye on that, but temperatures do look like they're going to stay pretty well above the freezing point. Now, as we go through Thursday and Friday, we stay pretty dry. It really takes until we get to the late hours of Friday to see the clouds building back up. Then we've got some pretty consistent cloud cover through Saturday morning that turns into a little bit of showers in the highlands by noon. Rain chances over the next six to 10 days are low in the middle of the country, but for us, after we get past Christmas Day into the end of the year, looks like we've got a little bit better chance for rainfall than we would for staying dry, which will help us get back towards a closer yearly average. Tonight we fall back down towards the 20s for a short amount of time. Most of us spend a lot of the evening and through the night into the 30s. And then for tomorrow on the solstice itself, we get back up into the 50s. Most of us are a little cooler on Friday, but those temperatures bounce back pretty easily. On the extended forecast, low 50s on Saturday, even warmer for Christmas Eve, and then mid 50s through the middle of next week.